Hello everyone, this is Druva Druv Drives at Grubbs Family Dealerships and today let's go for a drive in this 2024 Hyundai Palisade Calligraphy. I got a video on the Limited a few days ago if you want to check out that video, but now I've got the Calligraphy which is the highest trim. So basically the Calligraphy will give you, um, oh there it is, there's a little wireless charger over there, I'm wondering why my phone was flopping around, seems like there's a little screw. But yeah, so the Calligraphy same horsepower, 291 horsepower, has the same V6 engine, but the calligraphy is the highest trim, so it'll give you more bells and whistles than the Limited has. The Limited already has a lot of stuff, but this one is just complete, it's like completely maxed out in terms of uh, options and features. So you do have a little screen here, which, which, was not, which is not on the Limited. I do see that that's different. You have the feature on the key where you can move the car with the key fob out of the parking spot. If you're in a narrow parking spot, you can move the car with the key, which is pretty cool. You have a suede headliner or Alcantara, really, really nice. You have two sunroofs, which is really cool. The sunroof for the rear passengers and the front, the seats are even more quilted than you'll find on the Limited. You have this really cool trim, which I believe is exclusive to the calligraphy. Wireless charging tray you can see down there. 360 degree camera system with this really cool 3D system where you could see like the car, which is awesome. You have sport, comfort, eco, snow, and smart modes. This is a pretty nice car. Let's walk around it real quick. Those are the wheels you get on the calligraphy. Daytime money lights look cool. This has like the silver front grille. I like the facelifted Palisade, it looks pretty good. I believe this is like, on the Kia Telluride, it's sister vehicle, the SX Prestige is a top trim. So the calligraphy is top trim on this. Nice Harman Kardon speaker grills. Captain's chairs, really nice. Heated and ventilated rear seats. You even have a wall outlet char a charging port cable thing right there. So you can just plug in like your laptop or charge your iPhone or iPad or whatever quicker because you can plug it in. And you even have the USB ports on the seats. You have cup holders on the doors too, which is cool. Third row, I think is really cool out of us, two sunroofs. That's pretty cool. Instead of being a panoramic roof, you just got two sunroofs for individual opening or closing of it. That's a luxury that the rear passengers had in this one. Here's the cargo space with the third row up. You can fold it down electronically with those buttons. You even have a little bit of extra cargo room down there with the jack. That's cool. Yeah, pretty nice, pretty nice vehicle. It seems very upscale. And it should be, considering it's the calligraphy. Have the ventilated seats on right now. They feel pretty good. With the button shifter, put it in drive, and let's get going. You also have this, uh, the camera for the rear view mirror, which is a nice feature as well. <clears throat> but let's see how this Palisade calligraphy feels on the road. So it's gonna, it's gonna drive pretty much like the other Palisades do as well. Like you can watch my video on the Limited if you wanna check that out as, as I mentioned. And here's the infotainment system. You got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and I love the turn signal cameras in these. It's awesome on Kia and Hyundai. It's very innovative feature from them on that. Nice and smooth acceleration. The seats feel very comfortable, of course, being the very nicely quilted. Very nicely bolstered. Feels good in here, for sure. Let's put it in sport mode, see how that feels. The gauges will change when you put it in sport mode. Oh wow, I just felt like the, the side bolsters squeeze around my back with the sport mode, that's pretty cool. 
typically that's a feature you'll find in sports cars not in um you know just um a luxurious family suv which is pretty cool but it is very impressive to see hyundai and kia's level of luxury in these higher trims they're not luxury brands but they offer luxury very luxurious stuff so it's pretty cool i mean hyundai obviously has the luxury division genesis but kia doesn't have a luxury division it's just kia and kia alone so yeah it's cool to see how far these two brands have come in the last even 10 to 15 years for a long time kia and hyundai were just making like average vehicles which you just buy for the value and the 10-year warranty there's nothing special about them but now you go and buy a kia or hyundai because you want a kia or hyundai see you know what i mean They've done a great job in elevating the brand with these impressive products and I'm, it's cool to see it. It really is. The gauges do look cool, those gauges look cool, but I would, it definitely does not fit the character of this car though, those sporty red gauges. These look like the gauges you'll find in an Elantra N or something, right? They just look kind of weird in a Palisade, but um, they, they, they look cool nonetheless. It just feels weird in this car. You have a head-up display as well. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's, it's there. I love the paddle shifters. I made a comment in my video on the Limited on how it's so cool, how it's these paddle shifters are so high-end and metal. A lot of sports cars have cheap paddle shifters, but it's interesting how a Palisade has metal ones, which feel great. Because most people who buy a Palisade are never gonna touch the paddles, not even once. Because, you know, I mean, I use paddle shifters in any car that has it because I enjoy using it, but most people don't really care for that. So I find it funny how it has such nice paddle shifters. Would have been even funnier if it had uh, collar mounted shift paddles. Nice and smooth acceleration. And I just, I, I gotta say, I really love the, how the side bolsters squeezed around my back when I put it in sport mode. That's, that's, that's a really cool little touch. You have a quiet mode as well, valet mode, so you can lock with your glove box and all that if you don't want like valet to mess with your stuff. I think that'll also like lock out the trunk too, unless if they climb into the trunk. But if you're gonna valet your car, you probably shouldn't put valuable belongings in there. You gotta plan ahead, but you have that mode nonetheless if you forgot. <clears throat> Yeah, even in sport mode, it's very comfortable. I'm gonna put it back in comfort. If you put it in eco mode, the gauges become blue. I bet I, that'll like limit the AC and everything and try to help um, improve your fuel economy. It'll limit the other driving systems and everything in an attempt to make your fuel economy better and stuff. I'm driving on like a little, this road has some gravel on it right now. It feels pretty smooth. But yeah, this is a nice SUV right here. The Hyundai Palisade Limited will probably give you everything you need, as I mentioned. Um, but the calligraphy, if you want those extra touches and you want to have the feeling of having the top trim, calligraphy would be the Palisade you should go for. But they're both very nice nonetheless. But anyways, that is about it. Thank you for watching another video of Drew Drives. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and be sure to check out the link to Grubbs Family Dealerships in the description below if you'd like to shop for nice pre-owned vehicles like this Hyundai Palisade Calligraphy.